Long. Can you believe this? Anyways, um, so today I'm gonna do a kind of like a throwback product review on the amazing Hawaiian Silky 14-in-1 Miracle Worker. This used to be my favorite, favorite moisturizer, styler, leave-in conditioner back in the day, like when I kind of first started my hair journey, or even before that, and I used to love this stuff so much. It was so moisturizing and it just made my curls pop and everything like that. So yeah, I thought I would give it a go again to see how it works on my hair now. And honestly, I still kind of like this stuff a lot. It's just a, a classic, you know? So let me know down in the comments below if you guys ever tried Hawaiian Silky or if Hawaiian Silky was bae back then. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just hop right into it. Why are you so dead? Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? So I just co-washed my hair and as you can see it's dripping wet because in order for products to really work in my hair, my hair has to be soaking wet. Comment down below if your hair is like that too. So I'm just going in with the Hawaiian Silky 14 in 1 and applying that to one section of my hair before breaking it up into smaller sections. And this is just going to help with the frizz because my hair frizz is so fast like it's crazy. So as you can see I'm using a generous amount um, and I'm putting that all into one section of my hair. And I'm just doing the raking and smoothing method. This method definitely works best for my hair and then I always have to scrunch the ends and it just makes my hair even more curly. So now I'm just going to take the second section and pretty much follow the same steps just shingling the product throughout my hair and scrunching the ends. So as you can see there's a big difference in my hair. One side is more defined and less frizzy than the other. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the next side using the same shingling method to apply the product to my hair and again I apply a lot because even back in the day like I used to go through those bottles like no tomorrow. Alright so because I don't want to get the annoying middle part I just flick my hair all the way to the back and I apply more product just so my hair can kind of get trained to going backwards instead of it always having the middle part. And yeah, this is what my hair is looking like after applying all the product. And then I'm just going to let my hair dry a little bit in this fiber towel that I got from Curls. And I absolutely love this towel. And then I'm just going to do my edges because I got to do my edges. Like I just need them to be laid. So I'm just applying some conditioner to my edges. And then using my comb from Cream of Nature or my little brush and just combing them down. So I just let my hair air dry in this towel and I usually put my hair up into this little puff thing with my satin scarf and I sleep on a satin pillowcase and this is my hair 100% dry so I'm just going to fluff it out with my fingers and shape it with my hands. So as you can see I'm kind of like raking my fingers through the roots of my hair just to give me some volume because volume is just everything. And these are pretty much the results that I got. First day volume is mad real. The curls, they're mediocrely popping, but I really just had to bring back this throwback of the Hawaiian Silky and let you guys know how it worked for me. So overall, I think the Hawaiian Silky, I kind of feel like it kind of sits on the hair. I do think it's still kind of moisturizing, but I would say it gives you like a lightweight hold. Like I can tell that there's really no hold to my hair and if I was to go out in the humidity, like my hair would be over and done with. But I still do like that. So if you don't want any crunch, you really want like a nice light hold, then the Hawaiian Silky is the way to go. But I can tell that my curls will not last a long time. This would probably be like a one to two day old wash and go. But I do love how it gave me volume on the first day. Like this volume, there's a lot of volume. But I know that my curls are not as defined. So with that being said, I guess this is definitely not the best styler for me anymore, but I still do like it for some reason. I think it smells great. I think it does add moisture to my hair, but it just doesn't give me the definition and the longevity that I would want in a product. So, yeah. You have anything to say, Aaliyah? Round up for her. <laughs> 
All right, peace, guys. What did you say? Round up for you. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> What's up guys? So today is Saturday and as you can see my hair is different. Yes, I'm wearing a wig and I because honestly my hair was so bad I didn't do anything to it for like the whole weekend and then from earlier in the week and I had summer tour day. So right now I'm at my friend Danielle's um her twenty-fifth birthday and